Welcome back, everyone. This is uh, another one of the greatest chess games of all time. And by popular demand, uh, they wanted me to show you the chess game between Jerry Seinfeld and Adolf Hitler. This happened during the Third Reich when uh, Jerry was doing some stand-up in front of the Nazi party. And Hitler looked up at him and said, Jer Bear, let's throw down a game. And Jerry replied, I don't care. Whatever, let's do it. So this is the game that resulted from that exchange. Hitler chose white, obviously. And so Jerry was black. And Hitler starts off with a pretty normal move. Knight to f3. Pretty easy. And Jerry responds with the Elaine Gambit. So sure enough, Hitler takes, because that's, that's what he's good at. But he's falling into the trap. And so Jerry then pushes his pawn forward, which then is attacking that knight right there. So in order to try to save this, Adolf moves here. And Jerry just strengthens his position by going pawn to five, to h5. Now in this moment, uh, typically what you'd do is you'd do the, the Schoedenfreude variation, but Hitler is really upset because he didn't laugh at Jerry's jokes. So he chooses to really push things forward, lasering that knight right there. That's what he's going for with this pawn move. Uh, so Jerry continues. He wants to castle on this side because he's strengthened his position by moving this pawn forward. So he gets guys out of the way. He moves his knight to there. Adolf moves this in front because he wants to get, really get his king, start getting his king out into the action. Um, but Jerry's a little bit smarter. He's trying to protect his king. So he goes there and then Adolf just breaks up in the position completely by moving that there. But he didn't realize that bishops move diagonally. So he goes here and Hitler's like, I'm not afraid of you. So he just takes it with his queen. Just straight up takes it. And Jerry's like, what's the deal with pudding pops? <laughs> And, and takes it back. And Adolf, at this point, he's really flustered. So he just is like, the king's clearly the strongest piece. So I'm, I'm going to move my king forward. And Jerry laughs to himself and rolls on the ground. And he starts barrel, barrel rolling around the table that they're playing at. And while he's barrel rolling, surprisingly, he's able to castle. I don't know how he did it, if he moved his arm up during one of the like side rolls, I don't know, but he castled during this moment while he's barrel rolling around the around the table. And so Hitler thinks, hmm, now's my opportunity to strike. And so he goes right here, trying to attack the knight with his king. But unbeknownst to him, Jerry can just move his pawn forward to A, to the A, A5. So... At this point, Hitler's like, okay, well, if you're going to give me your horse, I'll take it. So he moved, but he can't. Let's see, he try and he tries over and over and over, but the board that they were using back then wouldn't let you make illegal moves, which Hitler was pretty upset about because he was counting on making illegal moves at this point. So he's like, all right, well, I guess I just push it forward. And Jerry's like, you're a rookie. And Hitler said, what, what is rookie? And Seinfeld said, that's not even the right accent. So he goes right there. Hitler there. Seinfeld there. Check. You know you're in check whenever your king turns red. Uh, so now that his king is red, you know the saying, when your king's red, you're close to being dead. But Hitler... For some reason, he just thinks in his mind, 
if I will win, that I will win. Which is a great mantra, but just terrible for chess. So he takes the pawn. And he's thinking in his mind right now, my king's in the center. My most powerful piece is in the center. I'm going to win. But that was his downfall in the World War II and in life. Because then Jerry just goes, damn. <laughs> okay. Um, and then Hitler's like, Bill, if you're going to let me try, I'll try. And he goes right here. Jerry Bear goes, check. And the only places he, he can go is the green dots. So he goes there. And then Jerry goes there, which is really all part of Jerry's plan at this point. He's not only playing chess, he's trying to overthrow the, the kingdom, the kingdom of Germany. And Hitler can see it in his red eyes. So he's just like, oh crap, I messed up. And so he tries to retreat his king, but by this point, it's no, it's no go. He goes there. And then we know by the green dots that the king can go here. But again, it doesn't work. Queen goes there, almost checkmate, because it's green and red. But then he can go here, and then he can go there, which is still not checkmate. <laughs> he goes there. Now, Hitler's fighting at this point. He's really doing a good job fighting. He's punching Jerry in the face. He's kicking him in the shins. So he's doing good fighting, but as far as fighting on the chessboard, he's just doing a lousy job. So then um, Jerry goes here, which is still just check because Hitler can go there. And he's fighting at this point. He's really fighting hard. He, Jerry's got a black eye and he's got a tumor at this point. And so Jerry's like, I'm sick of getting hurt. I'm sick of this table. The barrel rolling really did me in, so checkmate. He just he just lands the blow. And at this point, as we all know in history, Hitler um, retreats. And D-Day happens. And so a lot of the credit of winning World War II goes to uh, one of the third greatest comedians of all time. Norm MacDonald. Thanks for watching. If you want more of these, make a comment or something.